What if I told you that there exists one simple principle which would enable you to become incredibly successful at whatever you want by doing absolutely nothing and just chilling on the beach? Pina coladas, little white umbrellas, endless sandy beaches, sounds great, right? Well, unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. Uh, what is that? It tastes like soap. Oh, it's milk. Ew. At least not anytime soon. And I know I probably just lost half of my viewers and that's totally fine because I know that at least some of you have what it takes to become successful. What makes some people so successful? Is it mostly luck, a high IQ, or maybe rich parents? Obviously, all of these factors play a major role in determining your academic and professional success. But these are factors that as much as you may want to, you simply cannot change. So what if I told you that there exists a simple economic principle which can have an enormous impact on how well you do in your life? Fair warning, just watching this video alone won't do the job unless you're willing to put these principles in practice. The goal of this video and several videos to follow is to put you on a journey to whatever your idea of success is. Let me ask you a question. What is it that you want to achieve in your academic and professional life? Go ahead and write it in the comment section down below or just say it out loud. And while you're there, you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Make a great scientific discovery, achieve financial freedom, become more fit or maybe want to get a better job. Or if you're in school, maybe you just want to get better grades and as a result land in a top university, such as here at Harvard or MIT. Whatever it is, take a small break and write it in the comment section down below. Michael Jordan once said, some people want it to happen, some people wish it to happen, and some people make it happen. What kind of person are you? And what kind of person do you dream to become one day? There's nothing wrong with wanting things in life. Having goals is great, and the journey to achieving these goals can actually make you a better person. I said can, it doesn't always. But what you need to start doing is take action. The principle I'm talking about is called compound interest. Compound interest is when you invest money, the money makes some interest, and then you reinvest that interest that makes even more interest over time. Compound interest essentially means interest on interest. And it's the reason why so many investors are incredibly successful. Think Warren Buffett, for example. Let us take a second to visualize this. Let's say you invest $1,000 at a fixed interest rate. The vertical axis over here is your wealth over time in dollars. And the horizontal axis is time. It goes from zero to 20 years. You start off at $1,000. And let's say you invest at a 1% interest rate. Over 20 years, your total investment will grow just from $1,000 to $1,200. So you made $200, which is basically less than inflation. So you've lost money. But let's say you invest at a 10% interest rate. Now we again started $1,000, but this time we climb up to over $6,000. Well, that's not bad. Making $6,000 isn't exactly going to make you rich, but it's surely better than making almost nothing. But now imagine you could invest at a 20% interest rate. Again, you start off at $1,000, and after 20 years, you're gonna make almost $40,000. And this is because of compound interest. Here, the exponential factor really starts to kick in. And $40,000 isn't exactly something to throw away, right? $40,000 gold fucking watch! <laughs> so, where can you get a 20% stable interest rate? Well, I don't really think you can get that anywhere, at least not when it comes to money. By the way, if you do know a place, you know, hit me up in the comment section down below. But this video isn't about money. It's about life. And life can definitely give you a and life can definitely give you a 20% return on your investment in yourself. So, what is the first step of compounding? It is choosing what you want to invest your limited time and energy into. Back in high school at the age of 14, I can't say that I knew certainly what I wanted to do in my life. But I really liked physics, so I decided to sit there on my desk for hours every single day thinking about how the universe works. I enjoyed solving complex problems, so very early on I channeled almost all of my time and energy into just solving physics problems. It's important that initially you pick that one thing and become really good at it. That isn't to say that once you pick one thing to focus on, you can never switch. I mean, look at me, I was focused on just academia, but nowadays I'm also running a YouTube channel, I have my own startup, and I did so many other things at the same time. But that initial investment will open so many possibilities for you later down the road that you may not have thought even existed. And once I made that initial investment of focusing my time and energy into physics, good things slowly started to come my way. I became the number one high school student in my entire country, 
I won three medals at the International Physics Olympiad and later I won the National Triathlon Championship. Not that there weren't any failures along the way, I surely had my fair share of failures, and also the success didn't come without sacrifice. For many years I had a military routine where I would wake up at 5am every morning, follow an exact schedule for every single day down to a minute, and I would barely have time to spend with my friends. But I started seeing some kind of snowball effect through my life, and my routine is nowhere near as strict as it used to be back then. Success leads to success. The hard part in life is really just becoming successful at one thing for the first time, the rest will follow much more easily afterwards. Even Elon Musk didn't just start Tesla and SpaceX out of nowhere. He had many successful smaller companies before that. <laughs> I should have said it. He had many successful smaller companies before that. And that's the reason why people trusted him with their capital and joined him on his journey. He compounded the interest of his investments in terms of trust, knowledge, and capital. Many of you asked me to make a video about productivity. Productivity is a huge multi-phase topic that includes your daily routine and habits, also your organizational tools such as calendars and to-do lists, and your physical and mental well-being. This complex web that leads to a productive life can sometimes seem really overwhelming. It's easy to fall for all these fake promises of that one thing that's gonna change your life and make you a more productive person. Two weeks ago, my team and I started preparing exactly such a video. We even filmed some clips of me preparing my food in the kitchen, my morning routine and how I manage my calendar. But then I realized what's the point of all of these small tips and tricks that I give you if I don't take a step back and explain all of the underlying principles which lead to success in a productive life. So now that you understand what compound interest is and how I applied it in early high school, it's time to talk about how you can use this to your own advantage to become more productive. This applies regardless whether you're in high school, a college student or already a working professional. The really crucial component in using compound interest in your life is consistency, which can only exist if you turn your one-time actions into habits. The key here is that you develop enough good habits, and obviously also fix the bad ones, and then you can become a really productive and high-performing person. When it comes to personal growth, your good habits are your interest rate. You can either choose to go for the bare minimum or really high commitment. The more good habits and skills you have, the higher your interest rate. If you don't develop good habits and skills, you will not be able to become productive, and therefore your whole life will be like a low interest investment, resulting in stagnation. But if you invest into yourself, you will get on an exponential path into whatever your life goals are. Initially, progress may seem slow, but soon results will show. That rhymes. Eventually, you will become the version of success that you have always dreamed about. Before I dive into concrete actions which you can already take today, here's a word from our sponsor. Speaking of investing into yourself, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. You can invest into yourself and your own personal growth. If you're trying to learn a new skill, Skillshare is the perfect place to get started with. From web development and coding to finance classes, drawing and many more, you can find classes that will match your goals and inspirations. I myself used Skillshare last year to learn the basics of interior design before designing my new apartment. The class is called Interior Design Basics by Lauren Cooks. You can read reviews by people who have previously taken the class, get some hands-on experience by creating your own interior design projects, and it took me less than two hours to complete. And as a result, I now live in one of the nicest apartments around Harvard University. The first 1,000 people who use my affiliate link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. And by the time you're watching this, I might even have my own class on their platform. If you want to get started with developing good habits, start little by little and don't lose focus. If you do too many things at once, you're going to likely fail. So pick one thing. For example, going to bed and waking up every day at the exact same time, or maybe limiting your time in social media after you finish watching this video though. <laughs> you could start hitting the gym at least three times per week, or maybe you could start following a schedule every day so you do not procrastinate. Well, that last one is really hard though. The key here is that once you decide what you want to do, you have to go through with it no matter what. In the first month, you're most vulnerable to losing a habit. For example, if you watch my fitness video, you probably know that I hit the gym three to four times per week. But one thing you don't know is that I do not make any exceptions to this rule ever. Last month, I went on a road trip with my friends from MIT in an RV to go to different national parks. And obviously, there are no gyms in national parks. But despite that, we managed to do three full workout sessions by stopping in some small towns in the middle of rural Montana. So why did we do that? Would my muscles have really shrunk if I hadn't done these three workouts? Well, yes and no. The direct consequences of missing three workouts are obviously not significant, but it makes a huge psychological difference. Because once you allow yourself to skip workouts, your barrier for doing so will become smaller and smaller over time, until you eventually lose the habit. 
And just like that, all of a sudden, you skip half of your workouts by making up some pointless excuses. Today you're busy, tomorrow you're tired, and I don't know, the day after that, maybe your puppy looks sad, so you have to stay with them. <laughs> okay, that last one was really serious, but I mean, you get the point, right? Remember, your results will grow exponentially over time. It is never too late to bring your life on the exponentially growing path towards success. If you learned something new in this video, you can thank me by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel over here. You can also check out my other videos over here and here to start investing into yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.